It's probably gonna be like four thousand people in this live. I'm gonna go live real quick. Y'all have to stop talking. If he falls through the rope, yeah. See, it's okay for y'all to try to save him. Man, my face looks the exact same. He ain't even mess up my line, and no, it had no Beijing in there. See, look, you can alcohol, you can wipe it, you can swipe it, you can do whatever you need to do. Damn, twelve. I take that back, twelve thousand. All right, y'all. Y'all saw the fight. Um, I thought I did enough. Thought I knocked him around. Every time he punched me, I said, "All right, motherfucker, let's go." Hit him back with the shit, and he said he want a rematch. Now he's trying to back out of. It. He got a little quiet last night. He was all about the rematch. And he got real quiet. Um, so I want y'all to do me a favor. I want y'all to get on his page. And I want y'all to troll the fucking troll. If you really down, down, down. Actually, you know what? If you do that and you send me receipts, I'm going to send you a, um, a coupon code to go to TyronWoodley.shop. I'm going to give you 25% off. So, But you got to send me a receipt. Go on his page. Y'all might get reported. They don't mean, they don't mean you going to get taken off. I know it say you might get removed from motherfucking um, Instagram. That ain't always true. They do the same shit to me. They probably gonna call my phone in a minute, cause y'all know his trolls do. They call my phone whenever I go live, trying to stop it. Uh, I appreciate all the support from everybody. I felt like I got the job done. Uh, I was in phenomenal shape. People they had it fucked up. They thought I was old. They thought I was gonna be tired, gonna Food. gas out. He was the motherfucker running. I felt like I was chasing the, the wheelbarrow the whole fucking fight. The whole fight. Um, I hit him with the power shots. The rope held him up, and I did not fuck with the rope. I want to share a story with y'all. I always do a walkthrough every single time I do a fight. I've been doing this. It's my first UFC fight ever. I went to the arena yesterday morning. We did the whole walkthrough. I look at the ropes. The motherfucking ropes is right here on my head. I'm like, what the fuck kind of ring is this? Why the rope so high? Oh, we've had this rope for Spencer Fisher. We had this rope. No, not Spencer Fisher. Earl Spencer. They named me all these people they had the ropes for, right? And I'm like, so I got a question. If you... A lot of times people use the ropes when somebody punches, you'll fade back and come out and punch. It's actually a tactic. I said, how do you do that when your head is being pressed? So really, if you get hit, you're going to kind of fold into the rope. Or if you get hit and you go out the ropes, it stops you from fucking hitting the ground. He said, no, no, no. We want to make it safe so nobody falls out of the ring. And I'm like, well, look, underneath the ring, you had a fucking mile from here from the first rope to the um, canvas. If some a WWE motherfucker can roll in there and tap in if you want to. So we had a whole argument. I swear, as God is my witness, we had a whole argument with the commission. They said, okay, we're going to tighten up the roads. We're going to do whatever, whatever. And I was like, you know what? At the end of the day, we still got to fight this person. So my coach said, Tyron, just don't put your back on the rope. All right, so how many times did you see my back on the rope? None. None yet. Not one fucking time in the whole fight. He initiated every single clinch. His back of his shoes is worn all the way down. I really want to see them orange ass terrible um, Asics. Worn all the way down. And even when he did, he hit me with some shots and he a powerful dude. I knew he was going to, what's up, TJ? I knew he was going to hit me with some shots. But when he did so, you saw the fucking fear of God putting his eyes because I came right back and I hit him. I was talking to him the whole time. He was trying to hold on to my gloves. The referee said, break. He said, oh, I can't break. He won't let me go. I said, motherfucker, you got my glove, dog. He was trying to clamp my glove in so he can get extra time to rest. Complete bullshit. We got to run that back. So if y'all want, um, y'all want 25% off. I know y'all saw the Aces logo. Shit is hard. Um, we got the dad lids, got the hats, got the t-shirts, we got the bandanas. We're going to run this thing back. So if y'all want to support me, y'all want to show some love, make sure y'all go to tyronwoodley.shop. If you show me receipts, TJ said I'm at lunch not, I'm, uh, I'm at lunch not in class. That's funny. If you, um, <laughs> if you, my son, my son at school on the end, I can keep it in today, Monday. If y'all want to show some love, go to his page and troll him. Call him all kind of hoes and bitches. Oh, can I say that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Call him all kind of hoes and bitches. No. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. Mama, no, Mama Willie, you been with the ops over there. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Now we on some real shit now. We, we, ain't got to, we can't play no more with that kumbaya. No more, hey, no more kumbaya. If y'all did not fuck with that decision, no more kumbaya. Fuck that shit. We got to go upside his head. I was trying to get him out there. I told y'all. It was going to look like a fight. I promise y'all that from the beginning. It will look like a fight. He tough. He was trying to keep me away with jabs because he wanted to get hit. He landed three million jabs. Many of them didn't touch nothing but the air. And, um, you know, he threw his elbow out swinging at the air. He licked so, your head. 
He licked my hand? Yeah. When that nigga do that? He licked you. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nigga to lick my head. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You got you to gotta get him out of here now. All right. Even more so. Even more so. I'm cranking it. I'm down the fence. 30%. 30% off trolling. Say, hey, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't fight Tyron, you a whole ho, ho. You lost the fight. You scared. You just trying to run. Kumbaya. Oh, yeah. It's like the little kid that, that got off on, like, threw three or four punches and the teacher broke it up on the recess. It's a nanny, 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 nanny and you never rerun the, run, run the fight back. So we got to run that back. Um, nobody give a fuck about no Fury fight. No disrespect. I don't even know what the fuck happened in this fight. And nobody cares. Nobody sold out the arena like we did. Nobody wanted to see him get his ass beat like I. They wanted me to beat his ass. So guess what? As I told you, for eight rounds straight, I was gonna try to knock him out from round mm -hmm. one through. Yes, niggas. I, I knew that was good. <laughs> Haters, but I got most of the live done before I started hating anyway. So yeah, so I'm ready. I'm ready to roll. As I said before, he didn't land one fuck. He did hit me, but I bit that motherfucker punch and I came right back. I was talking to him and he got. That's when he got scared. When I saw calling motherfuckers in there, and he um, started retreat. So all that rah rah shit that he was talking, I don't know how he won the fight. One judge said that I won two rounds. Yeah, that's crazy. And that's crazy. we can all, if you guys believe, look at my, if you guys, what's up, um, um, if you guys look at my last post, I want you guys to go in the comments and tell me whether or not that's a knockdown. Now these are the rules: the ropes cannot help. A fighter opponent, if they look like they're about to hit the canvas or the ground, it cannot stop them from. It cannot stop them, right? It cannot hold them up. It is deemed a. It is deemed a knockdown. It cannot save them, and it's an automatic a count. Okay, so look at the way he's underneath the first rope, intertwined on the second, and right arm hooked on the fucking third rope. If I ain't never seen a security blanket in my life, that was one. So at the end of the day, we got to run it back. Um, there was no drug testing done. Uh, it was full cap. They tried to make me do a drug test earlier. I went into the locker room. I said, what is this? Is this a drug test? Because I'm, I'm down with the drug test. You know what I mean? You can do whatever you can pour it over your head, sprinkle it in your eyeballs, whatever you need to do. I've always been a clean fighter. They, the first person said, I don't know. I'm just here to, um, I'm just here to collect the urine. I said, what is this for? Is this a drug test? And then one guy told me, yes. A commissioner told me it was a drug test. And just so you know, I have it on videotape. So Champ Camp will be dropping that shit on your ass right quick. Then the guy didn't even seal my thing up. I said, you didn't even seal it up the right way. What are you just going to take my piss? Where are you taking it at? You should put one little, little, one little lid on the, on the side. And you didn't have the top part even clamped to secure it. How do I know? Feel safe? Oh, no, we're going right here. His name's an initial on that. So they basically did a whole cap situation to make it look as if they were going to do a drug test. A urine analysis basically tells people if you're deemed fit to fucking fight. If your organs are functioning, your kidney. Why does it matter when the lab results are going to come back on Tuesday and we fight right now? We already I already did a urine analysis. I already did neurological, eye exam, physical, blood work. I did all that stuff. And we did a pre-physical again right before we fall. So at the end of the day... Why in the fuck did you come in there and fake like you was doing a drug test? Because you remember I asked him on that show. I said, are you taking PEDs? Are you taking steroids? And he froze. He said, oh, we, we taking a drug test. Dude. We did not take a drug test. If you think I'm lying, go check the thing called Google on your little smart device, your phone, your MacBook, whatever the fuck you're dealing with, your Cricket Wireless, go and check it. He did not take a drug test. I don't think he fought clean. It didn't matter because I still think I fought won the fight. But now we got to run it back 100%. So, all right, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Holla at y'all. Be blessed. Get on this page. If you show me receipts of you trolling his ass, <laughs> I will give you 30% off at TyronWillie.shop. Go get your Aces gear. Some cool shit on there. There's actually a link called Cool Shit. Go grab that. And then um, let's turn up. We'll see y'all next time.